have no idea what the heck they're doing. They're just going to be switching back and forth, I'm almost certain. But I heard a horn, so let's go check this out real quick. Here they are. I don't know what way they're moving. I wish they'd head this way, but I can guarantee you they'll probably back up again. I don't know. I'd like to stand there and wait, but... I don't want to make them feel nervous or anything. We'll just be uh, waiting over here. My gosh, I hope they head this way. All right, we're going to attempt to check the overpass and I guess wind up checking the, going to Yearling because I don't think they're going to proceed through this crossing. Even if they do, they still got to head back to Newark tonight. We're back behind some businesses here. Now they're going through the crossing, aren't they? When I decide to go around the corner. actually going to go through Cassidy and I'm going to miss them. I don't know. We'll go back to Cassidy and wait for them to return if that's the case. At least we might be able to catch that. Oh, there goes the end. Oh, yeah. They're pulling right through, I bet. Listen for their horn. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was a horrible shot of them. Maybe they'll stop again. I don't know. I don't know that <laughs> ah, man yeah, this is a, a parking lot here I didn't see any no trespassing signs so it's really shouldn't be a problem then because they didn't want trespassers here they would have signs and there's like I saw a bunch of other people cutting through here on bikes and stuff as I was riding back really neat old freight stations or something here very neat I'm gonna have to come back here a little more often I don't know, I haven't heard their horn yet. Maybe they'll pull up and stop a bit. That'd be great if they could. Oh, there they are. See, isn't that, oh my gosh. As soon as I leave, oh my gosh, I wish I would've hung out there longer. Hmm. They'll be returning. I can, cha I can honestly chase them in to, uh, to uh, Shepherd area watch them do stuff there but I'm just gonna go back to Cassidy and we'll hang out there see what else we can find but that's just my luck with rail fanning oh my god I hate coming down here on Thursdays I, I hate Thursdays in this area this stuff always happens I don't know <clears throat> other than the first time I would have seen the Dash 7 since late winter early spring I mean up close you know Anyways, we'll get back there and see if we catch them on the return trip or maybe something else. I don't know. Just check out this area, though. These old freight stations and stuff. It's, it's very neat. I don't want to film and ride because um, I cracked my phone screen already. Also, there's old abandoned tracks here I'm kind of standing on right now. Probably haven't been used in years, but they still have them here just in case they need them. Anyways, we better get back to that crossing because sometimes they just drop stuff off and head right back out this way. So, we'll be uh, back over at Cassidy in a bit. Dang, I just missed the church bells. Anyways, there was church bells ringing. Waiting for the Dash 7's to return. A big manifest might still roll through. I don't know for sure. But if they're not going to head through, we're going to go over and check Gibbard Avenue and the old uh, Columbus Akron in Cleveland. What's left of it, as I've said before. We'll see what looks new over there. If the rails are worn, we'll have a look at that. Maybe they've shoved some cars down there today. I don't know. There's a few live cameras that have been keeping it loud. I got my little Broadcastify scanner app pulled up too, not sponsored. I gotta turn the light way up on this now so you guys can see. Anyways, this is a I-670 at mile marker 5.5 west of Joyce Avenue. See there, there's some grainers waiting. 
and uh, they should be switching like back up in this corner up here kind of somewhere back in there I have a video of them switching in that area anyways I've been keeping an eye on I haven't seen anything yet I haven't seen the big manifest I haven't seen the two locomotives returning so I don't know we're gonna keep waiting and see what happens There's another camera I can pull up for you guys. Mile marker 4.5. This is another good one here. There's a Norfolk Southern heading north. You guys can probably see right along there. It's a Norfolk Southern heading north on the line. And this over here turns and heads east. That's our line right in front of us here. So um, I'm, I just like to keep an eye on this. And if you want to see it too, you can look up on uh, Google. I-670 eastbound at mile marker 4.5. There goes the defect detector, probably for that Norfolk Southern. Anyways, I'm going to shut the camera off and we're going to keep waiting. Here we go. something out something else out or I don't know maybe we'll wait around and see if the big manifest still gonna roll through maybe we can uh, check up the line and if we miss them we miss them but I caught the dash sevens up close for first time in a long time so I'm happy with that so Leonard Avenue those live cams are all over the place around here think of, why do I think I hear a train Norfolk Southern passing over the freeway Ohio Central goes under that bridge That'd be a heck of a video someday, catch a NS train going over Ohio Central. You can see them from Cassidy in the winter, actually. Very faintly through the trees, you can see that train. Anyways, we're going to keep moving on and head further west into Columbus. And check out an old uh, Cleveland Akron and Columbus Crossing. We'll watch a little bit more of this train. I want to see them going over Ohio Central, so I want to get over there kind of quick, too. But yeah. Hey, here comes some auto racks. Oh, just one. I don't know, let's get over there so we can see them passing over Ohio Central. Well, you can't really see where the Ohio Central line goes under it, unless you're on that side of the road without the sidewalk, but I'm not going to do that. Here's the Ohio Central lines. But anyways, I'm not going to record much till we get to Gibbard Avenue and check out the old Cleveland, Akron, and Columbus. A, a surviving section of it, at least. Alright, Joyce Avenue, I'm pretty sure you can kind of see the old b &O signal tower right there. Move a bit forward here. Anyways, sorry. Here's the, it's the train cars he dropped off today. Down there is some of the other ones. I may have showed you guys on the live cam. At mile marker 5.5. Anyways, we better get to Gibbard. I'm going to check the live cams one more time in case the SD60Ms are going to roll through with their manifests, in which case we'll catch them from this bridge. So I was rolling up here like, okay, they got some cars down there. Unfortunately, they're not all the way through the crossing. Then I look to my right, and bam, here they are on the other side of Gibbard. Oh, I wonder how fresh this is. We're going to have just a quick look at the rail. It's pretty dusty. Those wheels are just a little rusty, so probably a couple days ago, actually. But either way, i got to start checking this a ton here and uh, have a look. This could have been today, for all I know. Either way, they would have had to blow the horn... I don't know, they would have to blow the horn coming up to it to pick it up. But wow, look at this. I just want to see them go all the way to Yankton uh, Paint Factory someday and catch them roll through here because uh, this is uh, one of the last surviving sections of a line that's meant a lot to my family, you know. My grandpa grew up on this line back when it was part of the Pennsylvania Railroad. That was back in the 30s and 40s when it was all steam still. He told me some crazy stories about stuff he saw back then. I'm going to have to do a whole video about some of the stuff, some of the railroad stories he told me that happened on this very line. <clears throat> some of them are kind of a little bit, uh, kind of a little grim, actually. 
of some things that he uh, saw, but I don't know. We might have to, we'll save that for a future video. And there's a bunch of other s stories he has about, he had about it that were um, very interesting, very, um, you know, just makes you want to go back in time, see what it was like back in the day. Yeah. And unfortunately, he passed away back in, um, back on September, not September, um, February, February 12th, 2015, he passed away. He was 82 years old. Best role model I ever had. I was 10 years old when he died. Seems like just yesterday he was still, still alive. But he was the one who told me all the stuff about this line back in the day. But anyways, we won't get too close. I probably got a little too close to the tracks there, but... <clears throat> Heck. They shove him past the crossing. First time I've seen this. Wish I can catch him, like, shove him way down there and then come back. You know, roll through the crossing with their horn blaring, you know. When they had, when they, uh, I don't know, they probably just shoved this back and couple up. I don't think they'd, unless they took that away first for some reason and then came and picked this up, but... This winter, we'll have to be coming over here a lot more because a lot of these hold salt, from what I've heard. That's a big salt place back in there, so a lot of these grainers are full of, like, road salt, so... In the winter time, when they're using a lot of it, they're getting ready for the winter now, I'd imagine. But we'll have to come down here a lot more, and we'll have to keep an eye on this. You can tell the ground here is, like, white, like, really light gray. That's from salt dust, I assume. Maybe concrete dust as well. I don't know. Yeah, this is very light colored ground. From the trucks, you know, they cover the tr they cover the rails in dust. This side over here, there hasn't been anything on this, and put my sunglasses on here. I don't know how long. That is completely rusted up. Maybe the other side will be a bit better. Yeah, my grandpa grew up less than a mile from this crossing right here. This almost looks a little bit on the worn side. Maybe they brought something over here. Look at this. Yeah, there's been a train on that actually kind of recently. They've at least backed cars up to it, I'd say. They keep this decently clear down there. Something was just on this line not that long ago. This one very recently here. We'll go ahead and dust this side off real quick. Man, that's just a couple days ago. Wow, I might have to come back down here tomorrow if I'm not busy, you know. Saturday, I might be uh, doing something, but anyways, this video is getting kind of long. You could set up a table and some chairs in the middle of this road, and you wouldn't have to move for anyone. But yeah, there they are. Heck of a heck of a line this was back in the day. Ran all the way up through Akron and up to Cleveland. I've always dreamed of having it come back, but oh man, that would take a roaring economy for that just something we just can't have now unfortunately but I don't, I don't want to get into politics so anyways i'd like to thank all you guys for watching like and subscribe if you wish check out my other content if you want i'll probably see you in my next video maybe my next video will be uh right back here i don't know i gotta free up some torch space first that's always been an issue for me but thanks for watching I promise someday we, we will catch a decent train here. Of course, it'll be a short one or just some switching, but we got to see something other than just some cars sitting here. I mean, this is, this is a, this made my day right here, just seeing this. It may seem weird, but with the history that my family had with this line, I think it's worth it. Anyways, it's enough out of me. Thanks for watching. Check out my other content, and I'll see you in my next video. Joyce Avenue, we got one. Oh yeah, there's a green signal behind me. I knew I had to wait for it. Oh, it's coming quick. Wish I could switch my camera over here. Joyce Avenue.
Watch him drop that signal. For those of you watching my video, I'm on a Google Meet with my brother right now. There it is, rounding the, rounding the curve. We've seen this before. All right. Go back over here. Worst, one of the worst neighborhoods in Columbus, at least it used to be. And the sun is going down. Yeah, I was riding over, saw the green light. Knew there had to been one coming. Here's the end, it almost looks like we may have a rear DPU, I don't know, I think I see light. Probably be heading your way, by the way, Tyler. Just so you know. Yeah, last time I was here, I caught one. We got a light on the end. There's something.